What's going on, beautiful people? My name is Rai, creator of this page, Inspire the Journey. Today's date is 3-20-2020. It's Friday, and it is COVID-19 mania. Dates are getting shut down because of, like, pandemic, and it's pretty insane. That has nothing to do with what this video is actually about. It's a wrap-up of my story of doing inspire the journey you guys have noticed that i stopped doing the videos a long time ago first and foremost i, I want to say thank you very much for the people that supported me on my little mission of what i was trying to do to help youth and young adults it's been like two years since i put a video on the page because i just i up and ran away i ran away from it i realized the importance of being vulnerable and speaking of the things that really do matter to who we actually are as people and i got scared of it i ran away from inspire the journey because i got scared of it i put off making this video for so long i don't know what to say exactly but point being is inspire the journey inspired my own journey of my own life at the point that i started it, i was extremely lost but the beautiful thing on the whole little journey of embarrassing myself making those videos talking of things I did is I realized that importance of being vulnerable. I've learned a lot along my way and a big part of it was the aspect of life to do with religion. We all want community, compassion, we all want connection and with the knowledge I've gained along my way I did consider becoming a pastor and <laughs> it seems like a joke to myself saying it out loud especially out in public but when you learn that you really can't actually make a living off of teaching the truth of what this life is, then you can never make a living off of teaching these kinds of things. But instead, everybody's misguided and we're all told where to look, what to believe, who to trust. This is why I stopped my vlog, because I realized I have a lot to learn in this life. But thanks to starting inspire the journey i inspired my own and i've realized why i'm here i do know i have to help people and that's something that will irk me until i die if i don't it's the entire point of why i started this this journey to try to help the youth was for a lot more than i actually thought at the beginning but there's plenty of days and times and hours and minutes where i feel just like everybody else in this world, back down on the ground and stuck. People don't know how to listen. They come into this world the same way we leave. But just like everybody else, I get stuck in my box every day too, where I have a hard time seeing other perspectives. And it's one of my biggest challenges in life. We've all heard that. We've all said it to other people because what it comes down to is real connection is what we all want knowing the words to say that's always been the hard part we're all in our own dimensions and the little ones are the important ones they're the ones that are going to actually be able to make a difference we're taught in bits and pieces and those bits and pieces are in the wrong context as for myself i understand the importance of living the life as a christ and i'll never call myself a christian ever again you're afraid to lose community don't hesitate to send me an email when you try to speak things that you feel and you know are wrong, they'll try to loop you back in to the doctrine. It's the way of the world. It really is a beautiful disaster because we can't have the good without the bad, and that's the truth. Our voices are important. So are our stories. We all have a story to tell, and I'll always truly believe in that. And if we all opened up a little bit more and became more vulnerable and less afraid of what people think, you never know who we're going to be able to help. Most people go crazy in life, but after you go there, things can only get better, right? All right, I'm going to walk back to the car. This is one of my places I come for comfort, and not just comfort, but places where I can break my daily box that I fall in. Second place is with my grandfather, who is conveniently right up the street from here. I hope you guys are able to make a difference for anybody out there, no matter how small. Even just holding a goddamn door open. People don't do that enough for others. And 
please and thank you. They call the magic words as most of us were taught at one point or another in life. So many of us have forgot just like the meaning of why we're here. Not just forgot, but many of us are never told or taught. So have a beautiful day. Love you guys. Over and out. I am Rye, and today's date is March 20th, 2020.